What's up? Got a Tucson. It's in here. It's in the spin and rotating box right here. Let's get it out of here so we can check it in. Check it out. Okay. This is a big, big dude. Yeah. Colorful. Brash. This thing's out there. This is one I'm not sure it's really my cup of tea because of the blade shape. And uh, I avoided this thing a few times just because I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like it. And finally it was like, yeah, I better get one. It's a Tucson a TS209. And uh, this is a big big dude with a big blade too thinking about the pictures I mean this thing this thing is big TS 209 I believe it's in D2 but we should be able to check that on a blade here it's all titanium and then it's got this very cool red uh, G10 insert it's really smooth, kind of a flat color to it. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. Lots of milling. Man, there's milling all over this thing. And you can feel it in the hand. Oh, the finish on this. Everything's knocked down really nice. Let's get the blade out of there. I'm going to keep this towel handy. Might need it. Yeah, look at this blade, man. It's almost cartoonish. Look at that thing. Something that, I mean, Yosemite Sam would be carrying this thing, right? Ooh, a detent, man. Oh, drop shut. Yeah, so this isn't the first time this would happen to me, but on appearances, it's like, nah. In hand, like, this right here, man, that lock bar though, ooh, man, it is stiff, now, I've been making videos today, so I think maybe my thumb's a little sore, running so many knives, but, I mean, yeah, the lock bar on this thing, that detent pressure right here, it's taken some effort to get that, but it's not stopping that blade from just falling shut. Very centered. Very comfortable in the hand. Very comfortable in hand right here to deploy. Yeah. I mean, look at this thing. wonder if I can fail it. Yeah. I mean, pretty cool. I'm going to try that fuller. I think. Can I get it? Spidey flick it? Oh, yeah. 100%. As soon as I stuck my finger in it, I knew. Oh, yeah, I'm flicking that. That's a natural... What about thumb? Yep. Yeah, so that's cool. It's got multiple deployments for sure. And, you know, it's interesting because it's such a big knife. But right here where I'm pinching, it's really narrow. Really narrow and nimble right there. Nice big cutout to get that lock bar. I think, I think part of it is if I just add more thumb instead of trying to wedge in a small portion of the side of my thumb just get my whole thumb on it yeah definitely easier all right well, let's get in it what did i say this was let's look at it i said it was a ts 209 and that's what it is t209 
TS-209 D2 Jelly Jury design. Man, this insert's pretty cool. Alright, now let's get in it. I think it's got some Loctite going on. Yep. Yeah, buddy. TH. Big TH. And we should be free. Yep. I mean, a little oily, oily stuff. Nice backspacer. Big, nice backspacer. Big bearings. It's got the uh, rivet style pivot. I like that. I mean, I don't know why they don't go to all that. Why they put these double screws and all these collars and all this stuff when just a simple flat uh, rivet style gives such a clean look and uh, pretty awesome I wonder if there's oil up underneath there what do you think you better look huh I mean we're not going to go through all this and then find out later that there's a bunch of oil coming out from underneath these scales either way we'll wipe this off real quick and put it right back yeah it's covered in oil yep you know just I mean try to lull you to sleep right like you look at it and you go no nah, it looks good it, uh, you know I don't need to do nothing with that less work bro it's good to go yeah, you keep thinking that. And I'm just going to keep taking it apart and fixing it. Is that collar going to come? Yep, come on. I saw you move. Really? I legit saw you get up. There you are again. There you go. Yep, covered in oil under there. Just want to get that cleaned up. And we put the scale back right away. Yeah, this G10 right here, it's just, it's different. It's almost like rich light, you know what I mean? But it's, that's, I'm positive it's G10. Yeah, really nice fit and finish on it. I mean, it fits perfectly. You most definitely couldn't get the thinnest slice of paper in between that scale and or in between the scale and that insert no way yep all right let's do this one i wonder if i'm gonna have to pull that pocket clip to get this one i think so yeah because there's a screw underneath it but the pocket clip's coming from inside Whew. That was tight. It actually broke loose. You don't see that a lot. Look at this pocket clip. I think that's going to run, man. I think that's going to do well. Nice slow ramp up. Alright, can I get... Uh, there we go. Get under it right there. Yep, oily, oily. Let's see if I can get this collar out. Yep, and it's oily in there too. 
I mean, I think I think it's a pretty safe assumption that it's going to be full oil. I don't think it's too much of a stretch. And I'm not super depressed if I'm if I'm surprised. All right, let's clean this up. Back in you go. I mean, this this thing ended up with a lot of pieces and parts here. A lot going on, man. Let's get the uh, pocket clip back on. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. And it's milled deep into the titanium scale. It's got one screw, but just with the milling into that hard titanium, I don't have any concerns about that not being there when it's expected to be there. I think it's going to be fine. Okay, both scales are done. Just got a little wiping to do. Man, that is a piece of D2 right there. It's heavy, thick. Yeah, that's legit. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, we're going back together. Alright, need a collar and a pivot pin. And we need these two spacers. Got Uno and Dos. There we go. Let's get a racetrack and a bearing and a couple of drops of oil. One, two. Blade. It's got internal stop pins. It's nice. Runs inside those uh, titanium scales on both sides. Definitely good for stability. You know, helps the knife be more rigid. A little more oil. Racetrack. Let's get this uh, backspacer in place and pinned. See, you just got to put a pin. You can run these, I mean, run them all the way. I hope I can't touch this blade, man. Because they went to great lengths to do this long of one. And they could have just kept going if they needed to we'll see i mean they're smarter than me so maybe it's perfectly perfectly good to go yeah that fit wonderfully in place okay I mean, all in all, this thing's not very heavy either. I mean, I feel like I'm holding a, a massively big knife, but 
it doesn't feel super heavy. Let's check that action. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. All right. Tools away. Timer's off. Let me say this was the 209. TS 209 in D2. Look at this blade, man. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Run that action just a little more. I mean, it's right on the edge of being completely drop shut. But thumb. Yep. And it's noisy. It's a lot of crack a lack. Pretty good. Um, let's talk about ergonomics. So this finger tab and this jimping here lock the hand in there and then the thumb comes in anywhere into this space right here. It's got great jimping up here to lock in the thumb. Me personally I'm kind of landing right here. These fingers lock back in through here. Um, this finger actually has a perfect place to lock down in there and so the grip on this is very confident yeah this thing's at the top of the scales I mean I'm locked in there now the the point is kind of high so uh, I'm saying it's more of a thrashing knife that way versus a poke because I don't you know I don't know it's kind of odd that way it would be really good in a reverse grip to come down that makes sense um that's not comfortable to go that way but yeah i mean pretty pretty nice the ergonomics in it though are wonderful no hot spots comfortable in the hand what about the pocket clip let's see what's going on there I think it's going to be fine looking at it, but we'll see. So it's kind of narrow up towards the top, but it ran that thick stuff and uh, got a nice little swoop going on there. But once it's in there, I mean, it got wedged in there. There it goes. I mean, actually, that was really nice tension. Let's try jean size material. Yeah, one hand in, one hand out, easily. This back pocket where I like it. Yeah. Got about, mm, just shy of maybe a half an inch sticking out. Great tension. Great in and out. Yeah, that's cool. Good pocket clip. Let's check safety. Oh, careful, bro. Yeah, so... I mean, they made this big, huge backspacer and then stopped it short right there, but then right there, full blade contact. Yep, from, like, from here to here, full blade contact back there. And I just run my finger over it, and, I mean, it, it cut the top layer of my skin, but I'm not bleeding. Oh, I just was doing all that, and it's not even on camera. So they did this whole backspacer. Um, but unfortunately, you're, they ended it here, but from right here to right here, it's full blade contact. Yep, right in that space. I mean, I reached in and slid my finger across there, and, you know, it got me a little bit. 
not enough to draw blood, but it, it definitely got the top layer of my skin. Because I just put my finger in and went, whoop, and sure enough, man, it's right there. So, yeah, that's not good. What about that tip? Yeah, you can't get that tip. It's down in there, recessed. So the tip's good. The clip is good. But there's blade exposure on the back in between the scales. Mm. I wonder if it's sharp. I know it's sharp because it tried to cut my finger. Yeah. Like, it's like really sharp. Yeah. Get down. All right. Price and availability. TS-209. White Mountain Knives has them for about $81 with a discount code. So they're $89 with you know, 10% off on a code DM10. You can find it down below. Um, I picked it up at a live auction, which you can find these running on DWIN99's eBay site. Uh, I picked this one up for like $72. So I saved a little money running it through eBay. Um, but like I said, you can get it for right around $80. And in about three days through White Mountain Knives. So, yeah. It's an odd duck, man. That big blade like that. I mean, trying to cut, get to the tip. You got to bring that thing all the way over to get to there. I don't know. You know, it's just, it's different. Yeah. I mean, I, anyways. TS-209. Appreciate you watching.